different new channel. Yeah. <laughs> Don't seem so excited. Why are you Pretty so excited. confused? Uh, I was trying to read what it was telling me on the screen. <laughs> so it said uh, we went live. So we went live. This yeah. video today is to talk about our winter plans and life updates. I know. <laughs> FNA Van Life is in the house. Did Hi, you... Frankie and Alex. Um, you should turn that down. Oh, I should. Sorry. All right, we're good. We got a question for, for you guys. How do you do a better thumbnail for these live things? I do like you set them up thumbnails. ahead of time? We, we're going to change it after the fact, but... Yeah, maybe we circle back to that <laughs> afterwards. Next question. Are these diapers for me? We're going to talk about these in a few. <laughs> oh, we got a little organ in the house. Woohoo. Um, for those of you guys who don't know Frankie and Alex, they just had a live video. Um, so if you missed it, go to their channel and check it out. They yeah. want to take you on a vacation. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted to tell. Like, no. Go there and be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> we upload the photo where you took that sweet shot. Oh, we push the button and it just says three, two, one, and takes a picture. So then we yeah. just do whatever it does, and then we fix it later. Not so, the most tech savvy here. Our uh, early subscribers get to see the classic pictures <laughs> for the time being. Yeah. All those all, also, fans. we went to uh, the Wally World today, guys, and I don't know if anybody out there gets really disappointed in the self-checkout with the cameras from above. Because <laughs> that's how I figured out how bald I was going. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm i going to do it for you guys here. So in in the back, it's definitely thin. It's pretty much non-existent. But from above, it looks like there's a stripe going straight down the middle. So I'm going to look down and you guys should... Tell me in the comments whether or not I got a stripe How going bad you on, think it is. or if it's legit. You gotta is look down further. further. Down, down. There you go. How's it look? <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think? Do I got a stripe in there? Like right in here somewhere? Yeah. This is hysterical. <laughs> Elizabeth, thanks for funny. Okay. Um, hi Daniel, thanks for joining us. Good to see you, Brian. Um, yeah, Teflon says it's Ooh, a stripe. Ooh, there is a stripe. Yeah. Now, the next question that I ask about the stripe. Would people pay? Is that like designer baldness going on? Because yeah. I, I got like this coming back for sure. This is gone. And then if I got a stripe, it's pretty hard Maybe to come by that. Yes. I do have a stripe. Um, I said people pay a lot of money to have designs put in their hair and he should be happy about it. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting some lightning bolts. No, that's We keep like talking about out. it. I don't know. I guess like I keep talking or about something. it. Yeah. yeah. If you guys have any good ideas of designs you want me to try to put in the side of Greg's hair, maybe Let we'll know. give it a try. <laughs> Scalp tat. Oh. oh. Huh. Scalp I, but then, tat. if I do that, That's I can't serious. grow my hair out to cover it because yeah, we I don't have any hair. We were talking about that he might not be too far out from actually having the. Shave it the bald. totally shaved head coming up, but yeah. what's a kippa? Are you wearing a kippa? Oh, is that a? Oh, is that a... It, it's like a, it looks like a little beige kippa that you're wearing. Is that what? It, is that what... <laughs> that's what Frankie yeah, said. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I do have one on. Nice. Maybe I got another idea. Good, good, good thinking there. I just started surfing again today, so maybe I'll just put sunscreen here so I can get a real tan spot back there. So look at it, shave. <laughs> oh, the never logo. stop. Ex yeah, never stop adventuring. Says we should put our logo. That's a good that's idea. That's not a bad idea. We could try that. That's, that's a, a good try. Like that's a good one to start. We should segue into our winter plans here, so that we can explain why I probably can't do the logo on the side. <laughs> I think I could still do the lightning bolt. But, um, so QR code. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a whole new level. So we. I have to work my way up to that, Brian. Uh, was that Frank? That was Frankie. Oh, Frankie. I think, yeah. That's for F and A. One of you two. Mm -hmm. Agree with F and A. Thumbnail. <laughs> Good. Good stuff. Um, so winter. What's going on for the winter? For all our friends that are out there just living the dream, we uh, got back to San Diego on Monday? 
Uh, what day is today? I don't know. Today's Wednesday. Is On Monday. And uh, we're going to be here for the next four to six months. Yeah. So if you guys want to know how we make money. Yeah. This is it. So this past summer, our grand scheme was hoping that the, uh, the old YouTubes here started paying all the bills <laughs> with your support. Um, but we're finding out that it's not quite doing that yet. So yeah. we have to work still. Frankie and Alex actually just talked about this in their life too. Yeah. If you guys have done the math and you're getting paid like eight thirty an hour, well, we get paid like got? three fifty an hour. No, so. I thought we came up with about five. It's 10 awful. An hour. <laughs> that wasn't including any filming time though. That was just <laughs> editing hours. Yeah. So needless uh, to say. Yeah. Do you go to the RTR and Quartzsite? Hey! hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thanks, guys. Sharing the love. You guys are Those right. are much easier to read, folks. So if you guys <laughs> want to just keep spending money, I can see them. Uh, so RTR and Quartzsite, we went in 2019. Yeah, that was the first one we went to, and uh, the last one that we that they had like the actual like unorganized free camping. It was out, on BLM land. On BLM land. So we haven't been since then. Yeah, so we did go to Schoolie Palooza 2020. Yeah. For a few days, because I was working then too. Um, well, we got another one. Donna, Thanks, thank you. Donna. Um, but yeah, so we will maybe go out there this year. Maybe, we'll have to see. Um, the hard thing about Schoolie, well, the hard thing about it'd be Schoolie Palooza. We wouldn't probably yeah. Do we wouldn't do Schoolie Palooza because they're still Schoolie Palooza is still doing the like open camping on BLM land. Um, RTR is a little bit more difficult because it's such a big event now that um, BLM is making people like disperse much more. So it's not like the cool community feel that it used to be. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, winter plans. So we got to make money. Yeah. She is doing her part time job still. Which yeah. she has been doing since March. Yep. If you guys don't um, know, I work for Rootless Living Magazine. Check yep. us out on Instagram. Hi, and, Scott. And, uh, and, yeah, so then I'm going to be working in a ski shop. Yes, ski shop in San Diego. There <laughs> is one. Um, so I'll be surfing almost every day, hopefully. Yep. And working three, three days a week was my request. So... Uh, with that said, I asked for three days on, four days off. If that happens, you know, we're going to be taking some trips on these four days. So we could probably get down to Ensenada and Baja from here. You'd do some Death Valley if the temperatures are right. Yeah. You know, we can get around. We can get to Quartzsite um, yeah. to do Schoolie if that's happening, which I'm sure it is. Uh, and trips like that. Yeah. So we're gonna. Um, Ooh. What is that? Yeah, say? you tell them, FNA. One more super chat, and we will triple our income. <laughs> Let's get them a pizza. No, um, buy my ice cream that I just ate. <laughs> yeah. So um, we really actually like it here in the winter, um, even though Greg has to work and we're a little bit more stationary. It actually does give us a chance to like, kind of decompress Reset. a little yeah um you can see we have our bed down oh yeah look at this mode. guys so Greg's i want to share this with you you're not gonna be able to see oh maybe space. if i get back far enough oh rob twenty dollars thank you guys oh, here's a gallon of gas or two at least a couple burritos we appreciate that rob thank you look at that guys yeah so <laughs> this is i'm like, sitting straight up um so when we take the bikes out of the van, we can lower the bed because it's on a lift. And uh, so now Greg can sit up in the bed all winter. And it's one of the pros about being here. Yeah, so we won't share exactly where we are. But uh, my cousin's got a place down in the area. He very nicely lets us park on the side of his house. And we live inside his house all winter, in case the neighbors are watching. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we park on the side of the house. Uh, we do have access to a bathroom. He put in a pool with a hot tub last year. So we get, we yeah. got a hot tub. We're getting bougie for the winter. It's not a bad gig. You know, we, we complain <laughs> about California and talk crap, but, um, you know, the weather's great. The sun feels amazing. So we are looking forward to some time to Greg wants to surf and 
I need to get back in shape because we didn't do much all summer. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's never stopped adventuring. Asked if we do climbing. Joshua Tree is awesome and not too far. That's a great point. We'd love to get out to Joshua Tree once or twice and see um, the area again because we haven't spent a ton of time there. And Brian wants to know if those are your sleeping socks. Uh, these are normally my <laughs> sleeping socks. They are not today. I actually, we took the motorcycle down to the store to get some things. Yeah. So they were my motorcycle socks today. My feet are fairly clean uh, currently because I surfed. Yeah. But they will become the sleeping socks if I do get dirty. <laughs> um, so Elizabeth asked if we're still going to do weekly videos. Yes. So yeah. that's one of our updates. Um, we're going to probably scale it back to one video a week, maybe do some bonus videos if we have a lot of stuff going on so that you guys can still keep up with us and see what's happening. But, uh, we are going to probably do just one video a week of our adventures. Um, but that's probably not going to happen right away cause we got to get you caught up to now. <laughs> so we have one more Alaska video. You can't miss that. Yeah. We got and... some FNA, uh, drone footage coming out in that video. That's right. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's good. It's making me look like I'm good at what i do thanks to frankie's epic drone flying skills since you, or I you at it. just watch their video because he did a good job yeah, editing it so i don't know a week or two ago. if ours will look as good <laughs> <laughs> hey taco time thank it's you good. thank you you know we love us some tacos uh, are you having a hard time keeping up with yeah, the comments? Yeah, there's too much happening, guys. I'm going to go over to the side computer here. Defining Adventure says they look forward to checking out our past videos. Just found us. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, thanks for joining. Hopefully, we meet you guys on the road sometime. That'd be fun. What or... kind of freak sleeps with socks on is what they're saying about me. <laughs> when your feet are as filthy as mine are sometimes, um, she makes me. Yeah, when you have a wife that doesn't like dirty feet in the bed, you sleep with socks on. <laughs> Uh, we should, we should stop to tell you about, about Huggies, guys. This is the life update Greg, Greg wanted to share with you. Yeah. On this very special live episode. So, I have very sensitive skin. So, we buy the Huggies Natural Care Sensitive Baby Wipes. But, being that we're here for six months, four months, six, well, however many months we end up being Four, here, probably. We got the 10-pack. Good segue to diapers. To, Thanks, Brian. We tried. They're not diapers. <laughs> they're baby wipes. And they have multiple uses. You can use them for showering, cleaning your feet, uh, armpits. Also, my friend Kara taught me if you put a little hand sanitizer on them and then do pets, it, yeah. it, it makes the smell go away. Dirt bag shower. And it's always nice to wipe your butt. Yeah. So. I was trying to like hold off on this announcement because oh, we thought yeah. maybe you guys like we make you think we were pregnant or something we're not having a baby no that's another life update still not interested in having kids no but scott mentioned um people with winter birthdays typically have cold feet he wants to know if your birthday is in the winter i guess that depends on where you consider winter to end but my birthday is in <laughs> april so i wouldn't really say winter birthday no probably not no he just has mm -hmm. dirty feet a lot dirty feet cold feet yeah, I'm just saying that's I why you wear socks, really not because you're cold. But... Well, I have really cold feet yeah. when I'm snowboarding and stuff. He though. says he has bad circulation. Socks can keep the condensation off the windshield? Oh. <laughs> By throwing them up there or just wearing them to bed? <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a good one. I don't know. It probably absorbs it. I can't wait to hear more, Scott. Yeah. Please tell us. This That seems like a really pro tip that we've never heard of, so... We just run the vent out at all times, even if it's freezing cold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, what else should we tell people? Um, what were the other things that you said you wanted to update Oh, I on? wrote life updates. Oh, well, so the other videos, so I was talking about catching you guys up. Um, so we have the last Alaska episode. We're, we have Descend on Bend coming. Yeah. Um, we hung out with some really fun friends, Lauren and Brian, after Bend. Um, we have a bunch of fishing. I don't think we videoed any of that. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. And then Greg is really excited to share this one with you. Am I? What? Squirrels. Oh. <laughs> we went squirrel hunting, folks. <laughs> you want to see them? Yeah. Oh, you're going to pull them out now? I'll pull them out of the fridge. Okay. Show, just give them a little. Yeah. Give them a little show. <laughs> Those are berries. See, guys? That's a little gross. No, it looks. It's just. <laughs> Squirrels. So, um, 
That was fun though. Who asked where we are right now? Uh, you look over there. It's going, yep, yeah, it's going fast. Ivan, um, are we still in Alaska? No, we left Alaska, what, like six weeks ago? So um, we're in California now, we're in Southern California, um, just north of San Diego. So this is where we spend the winter and do some seasonal work. Um, what did we video? Uh, Brian, we videoed the squirrel hunting experience. So we take you guys along on our small game hunt. It's talking about a squirrel skin cap for my bald spot. Oh, maybe we, we should have stayed the hides. Yeah, uh, I did talk about it. They're very soft. We have a windshield update. Wipe the okay. windshield on the inside with the socks and let it dry. Mm. The soap in the huggies keep condensation from forming. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh -oh. Good to know. Pro tip, Brian. Make sure it's on live chat and not top. I don't know what that means. That's advanced <laughs> technology stuff. That sounds like that's one of those... Uh, is that big box truck, Brian? Yeah, oh, it is. Change this. Oh, top top chat. chat. To do what? Thanks, Brian. Click that arrow. Live, Live chat. chat. What does that do? I don't know. That's just what he told you to do. All right, I did it. I, I don't you, think Brian. it did anything, but I appreciate it. <clears throat> um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is. That's another life update is the squirrel hunt. Oh, also. So, that was fun. Stay tuned. Um, if anybody follows, Top Chat is filtered. Okay. Okay. Well, we're live now. <laughs> Maybe I, I probably still won't keep up. <clears throat> also, if anybody follows our van quest on Instagram, Instagram, Jake and Gianna, they are down in Key West right now. Yeah. And they've been really. Um, they've been sparking some key lime pie envy in us because you know. we went. To Key West in like 2016 that or something. That was our first van life experience. We did a rental <laughs> ProMaster City that wasn't built out and just slept in the back of it. On an air mattress. And it was very hot and humid because it was during hurricane season and a tropical storm came through. Yeah, it was horrible. Anyways, they they're the eating booster. key lime pie. <clears throat> and and it looks at amazing. the store today, we found Krispy Kreme mini... <laughs> Mini cr crawlers, crawlers, crawlers. I don't know. Key lime, though. <clears throat> so that's uh, also our other excitement for the evening. Uh, we are not sponsored by either of these companies, yeah. but <laughs> we do like the Huggies. Yeah. Just so you know. Oh, I did want to thank everybody who participated in the Melons on a giveaway. So yeah. um, we had a ton of entries, and we really appreciate the engagement. It was really fun to like interact with you guys. Um, so we're going to try to come up with some more crazy ideas for more giveaways, but that was a really cool like experience for us just to like share something that we really enjoy with, um, you guys, cause you guys are the reason why we're here. So, yeah. So as, uh, you know, we make, maybe we get, you know, $6 an hour, we'll do another <laughs> giveaway. Um, and for go. anybody that's watching that is wondering about, uh, you can't even see your shirt. The, the Coney shocks that we are going to be putting on, shocks and struts, um, it seems that most uh, off-road shops or any shop really is backed up a bunch. So we are trying to find a shop to do that install right now. And I actually thought about doing it myself today just because it's a struggle. But we will provide an update of how they work as soon as we get them on and going. Yeah. Uh, what Melly's did we get for ourselves? Well, she was so kind that she didn't get one for herself this time. Uh, yeah, we wanted to help out some friends who were, haven't been requested. able to get them yeah. or like they haven't been able to get out to Colorado. Um, Greg got one, yeah, so which he is, desperately needed because his first one is super old. This is the super old one. Yeah, and it's getting pretty thre threadbare. So I donated the two that were available to me um i got green else, with so. uh golden sleeves green and like a mustard yellow. color it looks really yellow on that screen yeah so um yeah and then we yeah so we got him that i actually got a cool little beanie they make uh melons on a beanie so that's what i got for myself but i don't really need any more mellies i have two and they're in great shape so um 
Yeah, Defining Adventure, you guys got to check it out. Go to Leadville. Um, a pro tip is that they are making people make appointments right now to catch up on demand, but they do have some overstock that they let people come in and shop from if you don't have an appointment. And are we still near Leadville? No, we are over a thousand <laughs> miles away in San Diego now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's snowing in Leadville right now, I believe. They're supposed to get several inches of snow tonight. F and A, I like that. They say if we get a set, we can have a family photo shoot. We have enough that we could probably just put them all on and still do a family photo <laughs> shoot true. too but yeah you should get some if you get yeah. a chance um oh shit lauren says i got green bay colors not very chicago oh, land of no me. we didn't even think about that i don't what color aren't they yellow though like yellow yellow it looked really yellow on the screen i don't it's think it's yellow. as it's yellow green in bay person yellow. as it looked We're on the fine. video and the bears beat the raiders this weekend so yeah <laughs> you will look like Oh, it would look like a dress on you. Yeah. That means you don't have to wear any pants. There you go. Nobody likes pants. I mean, let's be honest. Um, what other life updates? So I've been having some major uh, problems lately. Well, I, Amy asked if one of the Mellies oh. I have is a dress, and it is. Yeah. Oh, yes. She does I have, have a dress, dress version on. and a hoodie version. So. Yeah. Back to my <laughs> back to my major yeah. problems. Let's yeah a couple things guys and let's see if you have any solutions for these uh one i have horrible allergies and i surf today and i can't breathe for shit and my eyes are all feeling red you guys probably think i'm super stone looking or whatever <laughs> um but i got itchy eyes uh and then i got i've had skin problems maybe you guys have seen it before i get like super itchy and dry skin so we're uh she well the Van Kooks. Yeah, so I think you, you guys don't them. know um, Danny and Kevin from Van Kooks. They're awesome. They're here right now, and we hung out with them this morning. Um, they're super into, like, nutrition and holistic medicine and stuff like that, and Danny recommended this company called Viome. Yeah, um, and I get to do a DTB. Yeah, so... We were going to talk about that today, too, guys. Defining Adventure asks what DTB is. Um, yeah, so <laughs> uh, DTB is uh, called Direct-to-Bag. And that's where you, I can demo it. No, Maybe, you don't need to demo. You would take a bag and hold it to your butt. <laughs> and then you poop directly into the bag, DTB, direct to bag. Yeah. Um, anyways, they, they told us about this company. Yeah, it's called Viome. And basically, um, it's to help understand anti-inflammatory or like um, autoimmune problems that are a lot of times driven by your gut health and the foods that you eat. So, like, Scott, you said um, Zyrtec, which definitely helps. Like, he's been taking Zyrtec or Claritin or whatever for the last several years, and it helps treat the symptoms, but it hasn't ever cured it. F&A, van life, yes, it's definitely possible. Too much ice cream and or junk food or sugar is contributing to this Probably problem. Helping. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to do a little... I'm going to poop in a gut bat or whatever they say. Gut yes. health... Um, Test. like test thing and it's going to help understand all of these different foods that he maybe should or shouldn't eat and hopefully that gives us some indication as to what's causing this because yeah. we think the skin issue is more of an autoimmune problem than an actual allergy <laughs> oh lauren's trying to fna says they're using biome this week also excited for the results oh yeah i thought maybe we should find out if they have an affiliate program yeah. or a referral program mm, yeah and we could all you know just poop in bags and send it in and see how it's doing yeah. um and then we all get paid when they do it um yes dtb is way better than crapping yourself for sure direct to underwear <laughs> to, to you direct to underwear. i would say we've been well, in the bag for over rough. three years and i think i've only dtb uh, twice now actually yeah so it was one was recent but i've only dtu'd once but that was food poisoning problems you, and that was you not your in pants the or the bag no i poop my pants one time oh. with food poisoning that As was, you get you older, it's, it's okay to poop your pants more. Well, so it, it was just, you know, I had poop poisoning and I yeah. thought it was a fart and it wasn't. So Scott says elimination <laughs> diet, doctor's order, which <clears throat> I think this is like the cheater's version. Yeah. Because instead of me going in and, and eliminating everything, hopefully they'll be able to tell me exactly. some things to eliminate and then I can just do it reverse yeah cheat. ideally so that's exactly what danny and i talked about where it was like a lot of times nutritionists will recommend the elimination diet which takes weeks to figure out what is and isn't triggering certain things 
And so with this, they give you a whole list of foods that you can and can eat and that what they recommend you avoid. And then you eliminate those ones right away and ideally you feel better and it's like, oh, ta-da, like it makes sense. Um, so hopefully it works. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if that was TMI, Scott. You know, it happens to all of us. I've had food poisoning four times now. So for me, it's like, yeah, it Pretty happens. Standard. <laughs> um other information i've also got something going on in my neck or shoulder that just started happening in the last couple weeks that i have tingling in my hand and my my these three fingers the most um uh, and it hurts like hell and i surfed this morning and it was some of the worst pain mm -hmm. i've been in in a very long time so we are going to try and solve that too i think it's pinched nerve but I think I need to get back in shape is basically what we're getting at here. What does so, Scott say? Uh, stop eat out of the garbage. Stop eating out of the garbage. Yeah. I don't eat out of the garbage. I just take pizza off of other people's <laughs> plates in restaurants. No slice left behind. <laughs> uh, more pre and probiotics, less animal fats. Maybe a good solution. Yep, pre and probiotics, always a good idea, right? And then someone else said they've been doing a lot of elimination diets with the daughter. It takes a long time. Yeah. I'm just really hoping that it doesn't come back saying I can't eat tacos anymore. Driving too much actually might be a big part of it, to be honest. Uh, we did like 25,000 miles, which I know is really not much compared, yeah, compared to some to other how folks. Much some people but 25,000 but... miles in the last year. And in the ProMaster, being that I'm tall... I feel like I do have to slouch a little bit to be able to see under the little visor up front. So it's probably not been helping. Uh, FNA's out. Thank you guys for joining. It was good to have you guys on the chat. Drive yes. safe wherever you're headed. Thank you. Come see us. Yeah. Yeah. Come see us. If anybody's in the San Diego area wants to yeah. go surfing or Hit hang out, we'll we hang should out be here beach. for a while. We'll see if, if it's going, uh, gonna work out i agree with you around. daniel never too many tacos but i will say that uh they're not good for you no <laughs> there's really no benefit but nice we'll be here probably yeah january all right well, now we'll we're gonna it. share everything that we were gonna tell everybody else no they're love kidding guys uh <laughs> we love you stop eating rodents in the fridge they are actually really tasty <laughs> but uh we we show you guys how to cook them in our squirrel episode yeah. and they taste delicious so one thing to to tell everybody with hunting is um you know there's a lot of people that agree with it and a lot of people that disagree with it uh but we have always said we will eat what we take from the woods and we uh hunted squirrels probably five years ago for the first time and we went out and we just shot two or three at first then we went home we cooked them up and we're like all right we're gonna try these out and i was kind of grossed out by it it just seems weird right uh i think she was a little grossed out also but we just fried them up in a pan a little what, butter salt and pepper mm -hmm. and we both took a piece and they're like mini mini chicken wings yeah and nibbled them off drumsticks. and uh we looked at each other and we both were like i think we just became squirrel hunters yeah because they're really good but if you're trying to live off of it or anything, that's not worth it. And we've said multiple times now that we're probably not going to do it anymore just because it's really not worth the effort for yeah. the minimal amount. Uh, yeah, we do shoot them with the shoot 22. Shoot them with the 22. You can shoot them with a shotgun, but it kind of destroys the meat. So yeah, we so try we go not to do that. 22 headshots. Yeah. And, uh, but I think, like, ultimately, we're just trying to get to a place where we can provide our own food for ourselves, which is really hard in a van. Uh, Elizabeth says they raise their own meat chickens. I think we oh, definitely yeah. want to do that at some point. Um, you know, the next phase of life would be like a cool little homestead with a garden and we go hunting for our meat or raise some meat as well, like chicken, meat chickens or rabbits or goats Goat. or yeah. something like that. So, um, yeah, so it's important to us, like whenever we go hunting or fishing to eat what we take. Um, but yeah, squirrel hunting is fun. 22 pellet gun. We did talk about getting one of those. Um, yeah. Hold on. How much longer are we going to be live? Maybe 15 minutes is my guess. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Someone asked that. Oh. Um, 22 pellet gun. Yes, Brian. I looked into those because <laughs> when...
when you're you're usually shooting them out of a tree which is up and to be shooting a rifle into the air never feels safe because the bullet goes somewhere and has to come down so um we hunted a new area this time and for that i had decided i was only shooting very low because i didn't know the surrounding as much and i knew there were houses around so obviously aiming lower <laughs> we only got one squirrel that day but then we went to our honey hole squirrel honey hole and uh we know there's literally nothing for at least three miles in one direction and like 20 the other the bullet ain't going anywhere and there's no one out there so uh, we were able to get more squirrels, but 22 pellet gun, a lot less power and a lot safer if you're shooting them in the air. So I yeah. think we looked at them, but we didn't want to drop a couple hundred bucks on one right now. Scott says that we could solve your allergies with the BBBE diet, which is beef, beef butter, butter, bacon, bacon, and, bacon eggs. and eggs. <laughs> I could probably do that diet. That sounds like a Midwest upbringing. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth, if we do come to Connecticut, we'll be sure to reach out. I'd love to see your homestead. Um, yeah, and that might be... We're going to try to do East Coast next year. Yeah, next so year, East Coast. Hopefully, so. we're able to make that happen. It would be so cool to see your place. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Defining Adventure, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, it'd be great to meet you guys on the road sometime, so we'll try to cross paths at some point. Yeah, so, yeah, hunting. We are self-taught hunters. I did not hunt until I was... 28 probably 10 years ago yeah and uh i had an ex and her brother was a hunter and he would bring home elk and it was so good i love elk meat i still have not got an elk for us because i'm not good at it and they're they hide a lot so um but yeah he he was a hunter and i would always eat all of his elk uh jerky and he didn't like that but <laughs> uh yeah i decided i wanted to try hunting so i bought a rifle and we started watching YouTube videos and we watched, uh, what was it? To the Bone. It was some video done by the Colorado State the Wildlife, Wildlife, which yeah. was how to debone uh, a deer. And we went out and shot our first, well, we did turkey. I did turkey first and then deer. And we've probably had, what, seven, seven or eight deer over the years now and four or five turkeys and two antelope. Yeah. So and a I lot of squirrels. Yeah, for us, we just, as meat eaters, we feel that it's a big responsibility to, like, know where your meat came from, and obviously that's been tough for us in the van, um, but we are we are hunters, we're pro-hunting, hunt, and um, it helps a lot with wildlife management as well, and a lot of public lands actually gets managed by the money that hunters spend on tags and access permits and things like that, so how yeah. about that? Scott is very adamant. We need to fix my allergies before we go east. We are going to be screwed. I probably just okay. have a rough year. Colin is no joke, huh? Yeah, I, I well, would imagine. I'm hoping we'll get ahead of it. It'd be nice yeah, to not deal with, with it anymore. We're just going with the perfect timing. And yeah. I do notice when we're moving a lot, uh, I feel like they do better because I'm changing the allergens all the time. That was one of my theories. Anytime your allergies <laughs> kick up, just move. So we can do that next year if we need to. Yeah. Uh, Lauren can't wait to teach us how to butcher chickens. I would appreciate that lesson to uh, learn it properly because I don't know if we would do an excellent job, but we could probably get through it. But yep. a good proper technique would be awesome. Yeah. And take us out to dinner if we come near I-90, which... New uh, York. I do the Flonase, Brian. It doesn't always Thank work. Thank you, Amy. That's very yeah. sweet. We'll have to try to keep in touch when we're in that area and see if it works out. Yeah. For anybody that's... Uh, <laughs> we're really bad at this, but if you are, are serious about meeting up, as you see us coming, message us. Because we move really fast, and we're um, really bad at remembering where we're supposed to be talking to who, because yeah. we get a lot of messages. But so. the other problem is that we don't normally post where we're at that day it's usually like three days later yeah so like like last week was like hey like, let's oh, have I dinner see you're in leadville let's meet up and it's like oh sorry we left like three days ago so yeah. yeah we would love to meet up with you guys but like greg said it is really hard for us to remember who lives where so yeah just keep an eye on like our instagram or yeah. you know send us a message or something and then we can try, we'll try to make it we'll happen. try to be better we're just really bad at it right now <laughs> so i just want to be honest about that yep um and Scott only has allergies out east. That's crazy. <sighs> Maybe that, you're just allergic to the east coast. Like, no, it's just, too many people. I think it's just crappy. 
Anybody that lives bad over air there, quality? sorry. Yeah, maybe bad air quality. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, all right. Any other life updates? So we're probably not doing Baja this winter uh, for an extended period. Yeah, of let's talk about. So some of the fun things to do around here. Um, Greg's obviously going to be doing a bunch of surfing. So hopefully you guys like surfing videos. Tacos, um, even though we're trying to eat a little more healthy. <laughs> Um, we get, might try to find some cool mountain biking trails in the area. If my arm starts working, yes. Um, we talked about going down to Baja for a couple trips. So the Ensenada area has some really cool wineries. Yeah, wine country. Um, so we may do that a couple times. There's a lot of options. So we'll just have to see what we get into. There's even a couple hot springs that are only like mm -hmm. two or three four hours from here so and yeah. even southern arizona is only like six hours from here so yeah and then um, my family was talking about having us come hang out in arizona my sister is thinking of booking a trip so we may end up in arizona for a week we just got asked what should we say that yeah mm -hmm. mather's on the map if you don't follow him you should follow him yeah uh we met them in baja last year via uh, me just heckling them on Instagram. They were crossing over into Baja and we had never met. And I just saw their post just showed up in my feed. <laughs> and it was something about, uh, I think she was being, she was nervous about coming down. And I was like, we're in Cabo, catch up. And they just replied like, cool, we'll see ya. Like and two, days, two later, days later, they pulled in. They cruised up yeah. and uh, we hit it off and they're awesome. And we hung out for weeks down there and they have a really good YouTube channel. But they asked us if we were interested in maybe going to Nicaragua for a week this winter. So yeah. uh, we're gonna see if we can make that happen. Yeah. And then uh, possibly right when we get out of here, because we do love Baja so much, um, right when we leave here, before we go out to Key West, we may fly down to Cabo for a week and stay in a hotel. So that yeah. we can do Baja a little bit and just eat a bunch of food. Um, to answer your question, Brian, I don't think they serve wine water at <laughs> the wineries. But I'm sure we can make something work for you yeah. guys. Wine water is amazing, folks. I haven't tried it yet myself. But I had some. Pretty good? Yeah, it's great. I'm, uh, a, I'm a fan, Lauren. Thank what's you for the, introducing me to that. Yeah, what's the ratio on that? If you could let us know. She told me. It's like, it you got a cup this big and water? it's like maybe 30 percent wine okay wine yeah. water wine water for those uh, of you that can't hold your booze or want to drink wine all day do a three's company reenactment for a video <clears throat> maybe because i don't know i don't know if i know it offhand scott we'll have to do some research on that when we get back <laughs> to you on the three's company reenactment um was that the come on knock on my door i don't Is that know how it starts I don't yeah know. three's company two maybe might have got that. Yeah. I might have just made a bunch of words up. Elizabeth said she'd love to see a Mathers on the map meet up. Yeah, we'd so, love to meet up with them too. Yeah, it's been, it was really fun traveling with them. So we'll definitely have to see if we can make that work out. Uh, yes, it does sound like some good winter adventures for those of us stuck at working from home. I, I do feel you. Um, we've, well, I keep saying it that I don't want to, I don't want to work anymore period if we can make that happen youtube is a lot of work instagram is a lot of work like it's work these these brand partnerships that we haven't gotten yet <laughs> but some of the brand partnerships that we work on are a lot of work um so yes i still work but um in a traditional sense i'm trying to move away from that so ideally this will grow and i can step back a little yeah and uh, she'll keep doing her job because she enjoys it and uh then maybe when we get into homestead life, you guys are going to get a kick out of that because I ain't got any idea what I'm doing. So to make make for a good adventure there. You just build a house and grow a garden, right? It can't exactly. be that hard. So, yeah. Sea World, no San Diego Zoo. Lauren, you can do 50-50 if you're feeling wild on the uh, wine water. The wine water, 50-50 if you're up to party. <laughs> um, yeah, Sea World, San Diego Zoo. We haven't been there. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Maybe if like some family comes out. That's yeah. a lot of people and a lot of kids it's for really me. It's really expensive too, um, I think. So I'd have to be pretty desperate for some content to <laughs> subject myself to that. But At the we'll uh, Safari Park. I don't know that what it's called. Bad. San Diego it's Safari Park. San Diego Park. Zoo. Safari yeah, Park. our old job um, had a... Christmas party there. Was that the Christmas party? Yeah. 
and we we went to it it was actually life proof we were for otterbox and life proof but we happened to be working in san diego for fun and they were doing their christmas party so we got to double dip that year um, but the safari park was pretty cool gotcha that's the reenactment at the zoo okay okay you're uh -oh. setting the stage got it oh <laughs> all right i got it i okay. like it yeah we'll look into that more um i think that's probably all the that's all i have. have it's um it's dark out now yeah so it's dark out do you guys have setting. any questions this is this is where we open up the floor to questions <laughs> it's been open the whole time i know but like there's like any anything you know burning questions that yeah you know. or if you guys have like topics that you want us to focus on um for other live episodes or just videos edit, too. videos that we will actually try to edit and make nice yeah we got one request recently to do a video about all of our storage and I followed up asking what they meant by that. And they said everything. They want to know, you know, what's in basically everything in the van. Um, we're going to work on that one soon. Uh, we have... Uh, see you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. It was great having you on the live. Um, what else do we got? Just random stuff I have coming. a whole list of stuff. So if you guys don't have anything, then um, we'll just go off that. But yeah. yeah. But yeah, we are open to, you know, suggestions and making videos that you guys want to see obviously because we don't want to just not have you guys view anything <laughs> so the more you watch the more hopefully will grow for us and yeah. um obviously we want to provide what our folks want to see other than you know excessive nudity okay key videos under 20 minutes okay yeah, that's, that's what i was wondering feedback scott we have had a couple longer ones and we always wonder mm -hmm. if that's not preferred 30 minutes feels like it's getting pretty long, long for a lot of people so but under we did, 20 is a good goal we did have one that was over 30 and it did really well in the beginning and i had read something about how youtube pushes those more but this last one kind of flopped so uh yeah i think we'd rather keep them in the above eight minutes because that's, 10 to 20 that's where they put like more of those ads in for you guys to see length for yeah. us to edit too. Something yeah. that is a 30 minute long video takes a long time. Brian, of course, has all the data for us. Brian, 15 where do you minutes find is the, the algorithm title. Where do we for find this info? <laughs> Don't tell me Google. I'm sure there's like some kind of Discord server for it or something. Yeah, speaking of, I need to get on the Discord soon. <laughs> I don't know where it is, but I will be there. There's a server somewhere. <laughs> uh, they were talking about that on Fears of the Third Kind, actually. Yeah. So they have one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a podcast that we listen to if you guys are curious it's called theories of the third kind uh, I really enjoy it I think it's fun and entertaining it's basically conspiracy theory stuff yeah but they are entertaining very everyone has a discord <laughs> now I don't know if you're just messing with me or not <laughs> maybe I do no you don't <laughs> all right guys I think yeah. that's all I got we for you guys it up. Uh, we do really appreciate you. How is the tiny home tour experience? Uh, it's always we've done it twice now. Uh, it's good. So the first one we did for the old van, if you go back and watch it, was when we were new to the camera scene, and it very was awkward. On much video. more awkward. Yeah, but it was our other van. So if you never saw anything with our old van, then that's a good one. We have that tour on our channel as well. That was but... the thirty-minute one that actually did good. I think. Yeah. So and then it's uh, fun like their videographers are fun their people to work with are fun so it's not yeah everyone hit the like hard. button yeah thanks scott um yeah so then the one we just did we filmed it in alaska with average brad if you don't know average brad look him up is that mm -hmm. what he is average brad yeah, right the average brad the average brad um but we've known brad for years and he's super personable really easy to work with good at what he does makes it fun so that was super easy to her uh good night night Thumbs daniel up. thank you guys so good much night. for joining us yeah fine everybody's leaving Thanks, i'm gonna leave too but yeah <laughs> you, that uh, means you're rambling i am rambling i was answering the question <laughs> about the about the uh tour uh it was fun and go watch that video because it's flopping yeah it's fine we don't need to make tiny people, home tours pe money people, watch our videos people, instead. yeah people don't like our van so <laughs> which is fine if you don't it doesn't matter all right guys thank you for hanging out with yeah, us thank tonight you. it that was fun long. um thank you all for the super chats those of you that uh sent one fna van life donna rob we appreciate you guys and check out the video sunday the last 
Alaska video and there's surfing and what else in it? Hiking, Hiking. more glaciers. Yeah. Yeah. Good so, stuff. Can't wait to have you. Night guys. Bye.